Greetings friends! For those of you who have been watching this channel for some time now, it may come as a surprise to you that I still have my hair. Yes, I do. Even though I'm getting older, I still have most of my hair. Because in the videos, most of the time I wear a hat. Because I'm a hat guy. I like wearing hats. But this video, I'm going somewhere today, so I decided no hat today. And for those of you who don't know, I've been involved in the health and wellness industry for I think almost 17 years now or something like that. It's getting up there. And uh, I've tried all types of diets, supplements, you name it. I've probably done it or helped somebody else do it or watched them as they've gone through it. And uh, right now one of the things that I'm doing for my diet is I'm eating, keeping my carbs pretty low for most of the day. And for breakfast I usually have either chickens or duck eggs from the farm with some microgreens from the farm as well as a mixture of berries like strawberries, blueberries, blackberries, things like that. Regret regretfully, that's not from the farm quite yet, but that is a goal for the future. And uh, I've been dealing with a number of things with my health and wanting to improve my health. And recently I started working with a homeopath to help me with some chronic issues that I've had for some time now. And today we're going to go have a follow-up visit with her, Melissa Crenshaw, a homeopath. So I'm excited to do my follow-up visit. Here we go. So it has been about eight weeks now since you've been working with me through homeopathy. And when I came to you, I was experiencing all kinds of different symptoms from irritability to uh, sleeping terrible, sleeplessness. And I felt this just overall sense of just heaviness and muscle fatigue on a day-to-day -day basis. And headaches went from being weekly to almost daily sometimes. Wow as well as frequent urination, male hormone issues, and it, was, it felt like I was just kind of all over the place. And I had tried so many different things for my health, from supplements to, to things like CBD oil, which helped with things like anxiety, but it didn't, it didn't help me at all with sleeping. Uh, so when we came into contact with each other, I was really excited, and I came with an open mind, which I try to have an open mind with all things with health, but uh, somewhat hesitant that there might be some results uh, as I'm sure a lot of people are uh, but then you started working with me and then I started noticing some changes based on the protocol that you gave me and it was really exciting to see my tongue which had been coated <laughs> white starting to turn pink and then starting to sleep better than I ever had in like 10 15 That's years great. was pretty pretty exciting mm -hmm. so I uh, thank you for for working with me and it's been pretty exciting to see things uh, it's been a little bit of a roller coaster ride as my health mm -hmm. was, especially that first week, it's like, man, I started feeling great and then it went down again. I was feeling bad again and then great again. It went from like a week to feeling good, a week to feeling bad, to a week and a half of feeling good, a week and a half of feeling bad. <laughs> it was kind yeah. of, <laughs> but uh, it's, it's been really neat to see the different changes that have been happening. And now we're here, the eight week time of meeting together and following up. So mm -hmm. excited to see where do we go from here. Yeah, yeah. I've had a great time getting to know you and Lacey and your family and, and have really enjoyed working with you. So what you're describing about the up and down is really common. And um, yeah, I think everybody goes through that. It's And what I usually say is it's like two steps forward, one step back, five steps forward, three steps back. That's a really common thing in healing with homeopathy. Okay, so I have improved a lot from those previous symptoms that I was dealing with, but now I'm starting to notice a few other things. Uh, like right now I'm dealing with muscle stiffness. I don't have the heaviness and the muscle fatigue like I had before, but I do notice most days I just feel stiff and tight, and I do have, feel like I have like this nervous energy. It's like my nervous system is kind of like over on overload, and uh, I know I'm kind of a a type A person, a go, 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 so I know that probably contributes to some of it, but um, I'm dealing with that. Um, as well as my sleep has kind of taken the, a, the dip down again. It's like I'm not sleeping as good as I was before. I was sleeping really, really great for those almost like seven weeks, six and a half weeks now, but I'm not sleeping as bad as I was before, so okay. I'm excited to see where we go from here now. Mm -hmm. So it sounds like coffea. You've been taking that twice yes. a day. Sounds like we need to back off on that a little bit. Okay. Yeah. I think that's going to be um, 
be a, a key thing. Okay. And we'll, we'll probably replace that with something, but we might need to just back off and see what happens for maybe a week. Okay. And then decide if we're going to do something else. Okay. Mm -hmm. And when we, you started the protocol with me, we started first with the uh, camphora and I do not pronounce these right. So That's I right. am sorry. Camphora. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and that was the first day. And then uh, you had me also taking the antimonio Cruda, is that how you say it? So, <laughs> I forget how to pronounce it. So we did, oh yeah, Antimonium Crude. Mm -hmm. Oh, I yep. almost had it. Yeah, Antimonium Crude 6. And, and that was for the thrush, itchiness, yeast, yes. mouth things. Um, and so the coffea was 200 twice a day. Mm -hmm. Is it twice a day? Were you, have you been taking it twice a day or just before bed? Uh, just before bed. Okay, there was yeah, only a no, couple right. times that I mm -hmm. took it twice when I felt like maybe I needed it, but yeah. I really didn't notice a huge difference taking it twice versus once. Okay, that's what I like to start people out with, just taking it um, before bed, and then if they need to go twice a day, then do. So so that means you'll probably just cut out coffee for a week. Okay. Uh, One of the things I was noticing, especially first <laughs> off when I took it, it was pretty exciting. It felt like my body relaxed for the first mm -hmm. time mm -hmm. going to sleep. Mm -hmm. It was, it was pretty awesome. interesting. It was... Yeah. I can't, it's hard to explain. It just felt like it's just a release. It. Yeah, <laughs> it's beautiful. And then Cinchona, um, Aura Metallicum, and... And that was yeah. for irritability, and my irritability was very high. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it was mm -hmm. like on a scale of 1 to 10, it was like a, a 9 or 10 yeah. at times. Yeah, And I definitely feel like now it may be like a, a 3. Like, I really notice a drastic nice. difference in yeah. that. Yeah, that's awesome. And so I think we'll keep on with that one. Okay. Yeah. Um, and then more energy. So the RMET was also for some energy. I definitely, that is probably another one of the biggest changes that I have noticed that before you started working with me, just my energy of going out and doing the things that I needed, it just wasn't there. It just felt like just heavy and tired. Mm -hmm. But now I feel like on most days I'm like, I feel pretty good. That's great. And go out I and love it. tackle what I need to yeah. on the homestead. That's what Ignatia does for us women. Great. Yeah, Great. yeah. It can work for men too, but um, RMET's more for men, and Ignatia is more for for women. Great. So yeah, sleeping good at night and um, and having more energy during the day. Mm hmm. The Cinchona uh, was also for fatigue, and um, so that's been working together with the RMET. Oh, and also here recently, well, for years I've been really bad allergic to poison ivy and we've been doing this project on the homestead where I've been taking down a number of trees and since it's winter there's no leaves on the vines for poison ivy so I've rubbed up against poison ivy a few times but I have done some homeopathy rust tox is what Lacey suggested mm -hmm. for me and it has worked perfectly beautiful that's great so the more you use um, homeopathy for poison ivy, every time you come in contact with it, if you use homeopathy, then each time you're going to, the symptoms are going to be less severe, shorter in duration, until finally you're not allergic to it at all. That is great. So you're going to be able to come into contact with it at some point and not break out with it. So my husband has been covered from head to toe before and we used homeopathy and he used to be highly allergic every single summer at least once maybe twice he's landscaping so he would get it and be it was awful for him and he's not had it in years wow and it's that because is great. of homeopathy yeah. i look forward to that yeah <laughs> also i've been dealing with really dry skin and over i can't think of how many years now i've had these little white spotches in different places on my body um and even some of our viewers have commented on it before I have read and thought that it may be candida, but it, it is worse in the summertime when I'm getting darker. Those areas don't mm -hmm, get darker. Mm -hmm. But what are some things you think I could do for that as well? So that's something that we'll work on together over the next few weeks, and we'll find the right remedy for that. Fantastic. Look forward to that. Awesome. So, Melissa, where do we go from here now? Okay, so we're going to revamp the plan a little bit. Okay. Um, it sounds like most of the things are doing really well for you. We're going to stay on a few, and we're going to take away okay. at least one. Great. So, I think we're going to we're going to take a break from Coffea, and okay. then we may add we're going to add another one or two for the skin. Okay. And um, you're going to do the poison ivy as needed. Okay. That's going to be great. And so we will, I'll rewrite the plan. I'll email you and just let you know step by step what you need to do and how to take it. Fantastic. I look forward to that. Yes. And you have been doing homeopathy for a long time now. Mm -hmm. 20 years. 20 years. Yeah. What got you into doing it? So I had a, a young, my oldest was sick and um, he was constantly sick with ear infections. 
um, and he was on antibiotics. Motrin, Tylenol constantly, and it destroyed his gut. Wow. So then he had a peptic ulcer at a very young age. Oh, wow. <clears throat> and I was very um, upset about that. I go to the doctor and, and she said, oh, we're just going to give him this medicine, something like a Pepsid. He's 23, so I don't remember. You know, something like a Pepsid or, or you know, something for, and I said, well, for how long? And she couldn't tell me how long. So if it had been like an antibiotic where it's going to be 10 days, I probably would have done it. But she was like, I don't know. And I was oh, like, wow. okay, I'm not okay with that. Yeah. So I walked out of there and I, um, I started researching. I started researching. I found homeopathy. I'd never even heard the word before. Um, I went to see a homeopath and she's the one that educated me on all the things. Nutrition, um, vaccines. I'd never thought about any of those things as health wow. before. So in working with her, I really, uh, I really loved the results I was seeing and I became passionate about it and I wanted to help other people. So I started studying, started going to school and became um, a homeopath and I've been helping people um, you know, for at least 15 years because it took a while to go through school. That is great. So Melissa, for those who don't know, what is homeopathy? Homeopathy is a system of medicine that's been around for over 200 years and it actually uproots the condition rather than just cover up the symptoms. So you are really um, working towards natural um, total healing. And I've heard that that was one of the original medicines that was practiced. Is, is that true? I agree, yes. Yeah. So it's been around for over 200 years, the system, but of course we're using all the things that God gave us you know, to make the medicine. So how do the remedies, they're called remedies, right? That's right. How do they work? They work on the um, law of similars. Okay. And so they go into the body and like cures like. Hmm. So let's say that you um, are in the kitchen cutting an onion. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you're cutting the onion, what happens? You start crying. Yeah, <laughs> itching, burning. Um, and so the homeopathic onion that is diluted is called allium sepa. Hmm. So when you take Allium Sepa, it, the homeopathic form is going to cure what the whole form can cause. So like cures like. So Allium Sepa would be great for allergies, hay fever, um, and colds, things like that. Okay. And how are they made? How are the remedies made? So they are, you take the whole form again and you make a mother tincture first. So you would um, smash it up, um, put the, the liquid or even you know, all the smashed up, let's say onion into the, um, the container with alcohol and you let it sit um, and then from that you take the drops for, of the mother tincture which is not homeopathic and you dilute it. Okay. So it's diluted, diluted, diluted um, until you get to the 30, you know, 30 potency. I mean it, it goes anywhere from 1C or X all the way up to 1M um, and the potencies are, there are a lot of them. The it most common ones Oh, sorry. 30 to 200. <clears throat> wow. And there are a number of different companies that make the, the remedies. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, which are some yeah. of the ones that you recommend? So I love OHM and, um, and A to Z homeopathy.com. Washington Homeopathics is great too, and Boron. And I, think, I think those are the top four on my list. And what are the different symptoms or diseases? What, what can homeopathy treat? Everything. Everything. I believe everything. Mm -hmm. And everybody? Everybody. So I really appreciate you working with me as a man. You made me feel totally comfortable. Awesome. And you work with both men and women of uh, all ages mm -hmm. for personal health as well as family health as right, well, right? Right. And children. Okay. Mm -hmm. And you work with people both here locally as well as distance because we did our first session on Zoom. That's that right. That's right. So I do use Zoom so you can be anywhere in the world as long as you have an internet connection and we can do a consult on Zoom. If you're local, I do have some people who would rather meet face-to-face -face in person, and that's okay too, we can do that. And you work with people on all kinds of ailments. ailments. That's right, yeah, um, anything. Anything that's um, any acute problem or chronic illness that you have is gonna be, um, well, I will try to work on. Mm -hmm. And what are, for those who don't know, what are acute, what is acute, and what is chronic? Okay, so acute is something that has a definite beginning and a definite, definite ending. And so it's like a cold, cough, flu, um, pneumonia, bronchitis, stomach virus, um, 
um, headaches, heat stroke. There's uh, there's a long list of things that just kind of come on and we can treat it acutely and then it goes away. A chronic thing is something that probably comes on slowly and sticks around for a long time. So a lot of times, by the time somebody comes to me, they've been dealing with this thing for a long time. Like me, a lot of my issues have been mm -hmm. chronic things. And Allergies, um, asthma, um, hay fever, any like eye things, uh, hormones, you know, getting your hormones balanced, all those things, gut issues, gut healing. Um, homeopathy works beautifully for gut healing, which is where 75% of your immune system is. And so you need, we need to really work on gut healing. In almost the same amount of time that I've been working with you, Lacey has been taking some classes from you as well each week and she's been super excited every Thursday yeah. to, to tune in and, mm -hmm. and learn from you, to learn all the different things about homeopathy and she's super excited about that. But you, you work with people in, in groups for classes, right? I do, I teach classes on Zoom and uh, they're so fun. So we have a great time together, we get to know each other, we've built relationships. Um, you know, Lacey and I have known each other on through Facebook for a long time, but we've really strengthened our relationship through this class. So I've had a great time um, doing this class. I can, these continue. So about every six weeks, um, I'm starting a new class and in March, I'm gonna start an in-person class with a large homeschool group in the area but also people from zoom will be able to join in on that and how can someone who is interested in joining one of your classes to learn more about how to practice homeopathy themselves how can they go about being a part of one of your classes that's a great question so um, melissacrenshaw.com backslash classes so or if you just go to my main website at the top it says classes you can click on that and you're now accepting clients for February, and how can someone go about being one of your clients? That's right, so you just contact me on um, through my website. That's melissacrenshaw.com. And there, if you scroll down on the homepage, there's a place for you to um, set up your acute or initial consultation. And right now, Melissa is giving away a Her Homeopathic Guide to Family Health. And if you sign up for my email newsletter, we'll make sure to get you one of these guides for free. So make sure you do that. Melissa, it was a pleasure spending time talking with you. Thank you so much for everything you're doing to help me out. I really, really appreciate it. Thank you so much for coming over today. All right, so the hat is going back on and it's time to head back to the homestead to continue to work on all the different projects that I have going on. And for those of you who continue to follow me on a regular basis, you know I have a lot going on. So I'm super glad that I'm feeling good, feeling energized and thankful for Melissa and the things that she's doing to help me to improve and to continue to feel better and be in good health and well-being and uh, continue to build off the things that I know as well. But uh, over the years, I just have beaten my body down so much from bodybuilding to all the things that we do on the homestead. Uh, sometimes you just need to work on self-care and healing and uh, homeopathy has been a huge blessing and a life changer and health changer for me here recently. So super excited uh, to be working with Melissa and excited about the next protocol that she is going to put me on. If you would like to hear more of these type of topics on this channel, let me know because I want to inspire you to, to live a healthier, better life all around as an individual as well as on your homestead, whatever it is that you're doing. I hope to inspire you all to do that. And uh, if you've also had any dealings with homeopathy, let me know in the comment section below. So that, if you want to know more about homeopathy, if you want to know more about natural things and health, let me know in the comment section below. Also, if you have any experience with it, let me know in the comment section below. Well, I'm heading out, getting back to the homestead. So uh, make sure you stay tuned for the projects that I am continuing to work on. See you next time. As always, be strong, grow on, and live life without excuses. Here we go.